Hello guys, I'm S3D and today I'm building, uh, this is going to be a part 2 of the Bandai Master Grey uh, 100 scale Gundam Barbados. Uh, this product is rated for ages 15 plus, so if you're under the age of 15, probably want to get out of here. Okay, so anyway, uh, one thing I want to apologize for is uh, I was recording this last night, the night before, uh, at 4 o'clock in the morning and I lost the footage for this build right here. I built the uh, uh, legs and I lost the video because I just accidentally pushed delete. I don't know why, I guess I was too tired. But yeah, th these uh, these are pretty good. Um, this inner frame, it's uh, very uh, pretty well designed. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of intricate. It's kind of like a modern day real gray. Feels like a modern day real gray. So uh, yeah. So you got quite a few parts in here. It's also got this very nice uh, piston gimmick. Um, one issue I have though with this piston gimmick is uh, it likes to come loose. So that part is kind of annoying. Uh, just on one leg though, on the on the uh, right leg. Yeah, on the right leg, it's uh, kind kind like to pop loose. On the left, it's fine. I, I don't really have any issues with the left one. But I, I can see that being a major annoyance uh, you know, to some people. All right, so yeah, nothing I can do about that. I, I kind of don't want to take this thing apart because I don't want to risk damaging it. Because since I'm already going to sell it, so there we go. The legs are already done. So <laughs> uh, we're going to build the arms then. Uh, yeah, so you can see the arms. It's also very intricate. It got that piston function. This thing is not going to come loose because this part is sandwiched between uh, these two parts so this is perfectly fine uh, this this frame is very well designed um, yeah it's it's not bad but this is also the biggest one of the reason why you don't want to buy this kit because uh, you know you know Bandai has been known to uh, uh, milk their uh, you know if the product is really good they're gonna milk it right so this frame is pretty damn good so I'm pretty sure uh, that means uh, the lupus and the lupus rex is probably coming and uh, since the main suits, I don't think Bandai is going to pee Bandai them. <clears throat> Maybe like the sixth form with the full armor and stuff like that. And then you can also bet like, you know, the rest of the IBO stuff is coming too. So, you know, the Gujian rebake, the Kimaras and all that, the Bail uh, using the same frame. So, you know, within five years, people are probably going to be very tired of talking about this, uh, this new Master Grade Gundam frame. <laughs> it's gonna just be like the high grade. So since this is the first one, you know, a lot of people are gonna like spend their money on this, but then eventually uh, regret that they didn't save their money for other stuff. Because you know the the thing I I, I know from uh, you know uh, doing Gunpla videos over the years and you know being a member of the Gunpla community, it's like this uh, this community is always on a budget. Uh, there's a lot of budget uh, conscious. Uh, customers or you know uh, what's that hobbyists that customer like yeah I mean people are always negotiating prices with me on eBay <laughs> so for Gumpla yeah so yeah uh, I'm I'm used to it so I mean if you're on a budget uh, don't want to be buying like three different barbados in one year probably wait out for the uh, you know Probably around the uh, end of 2018. Oh my god. See, I'm recording this like 2 a.m. in the morning the next day. So, like, uh, at least I'm not losing the... Uh, at least this is still being recorded, I hope. Um, um, at the end of 2020. Gosh. Alright, at the end of 2020, you'll probably see either the lupus or, you know, uh, lupus rex or other stuff so yeah anyway so the shoulders are done right there uh next we're gonna be building let's just get this done quick before like you know uh, i start getting super tired and forget what the hell i'm doing <laughs> uh something like something like this kit you know it's uh more more uh arch Something like, you know, if you're building RGs, you don't want to build your RG uh, when your brain isn't really function functioning. Uh, 
And this this is more like an RT, so you you have a higher chance of screwing up uh, building this. So I advise caution. <laughs> Build it only when you're mentally capable. <laughs> Alright, so we got this part. Let's go ahead and clean this a little bit. Pop that in. There we go. And now we build the uh, forearm. The forearm is just this part going on right here. Like that. And this piece going on right here. Well, this piece goes on here first. Yeah, gotta clean this. Yeah, like one thing I learned about people, uh, you know, uh, specific groups of Gunpla fans is that uh, when you're really into uh, uh, Gunpla uh, there are people who are like like they're, they're just on the binge uh, when they uh, new, when they're new to Gunpla so they end up buying like every single kit like myself I just go on a binge and buy like you know 300 plus kits and stuff like that but uh, yeah uh, for the majority of the con consumer or the hobbyists uh, they're very budget oriented they they uh, they watch like all the videos on YouTube before they make a decision on their purchase so I mean if you have to have this form of barbados then by all means but like I said you know uh, the the rest are coming. So if you're just you know you just want a certain form of the barbitos, you probably be better off saving your money until then. Okay, so that part we don't need. Uh, we do need this part. Uh, they use like a softer plastic, kind of just like the high grade inner frame of the uh, you know the uh, uh, the IBO Gundam frames, but uh, the, these are like you know a lot more detail, a lot more intricate, but. It's a very similar idea. Okay, and I built that wrong. So basically, you're not supposed to do it this way. You need to put this thing on here first. Like that. Rotate this around. Then you put this on here. This locks it in. There we go. So now the shoulder's not coming off. Okay. It's also making a nut cleaning up nut marks on this kit a lot easier. Uh, the plastic that they use. So there we go. The arms are done. Let's see. Do I have the other hand? I do have the other hand. Gonna put that hand on here. And there we go. All right. So we got the legs and the arms. Yeah. Now I just need the armor for the Lupus Rex and I'm good. <laughs> probably the uh, the legs are going to be new molds. Uh, you know, the lower legs and then probably the arms are going to be new molds. So especially the forearm if they're going to do the Lupus Rex. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the build video. Uh, I'll probably take a break for a couple days before I come back and do, do this. <laughs> It's starting to get really embarrassing. So, anyway, thanks for watching.